Hi friends, I'm going to make coconut rice today. Uh, here I have uh, half coconut. I got whole coconut from the store. I broke it and then I took out the coconut uh, pieces and then I um, crushed it in the mixy jar once to make it like this. It's fresh coconut. I have taken half coconut. Grater. One cup of rice cooked. I cooked the rice last night and it was in the refrigerator. So for any variety rice, if you cook the rice a um, few hours before and refrigerate it for some time, it will be, it won't stick together and it will be good. This is basmati rice. So here I have chopped one onion. Onion is optional for coconut rice. If you want, you can use it. Uh, I have taken one big red onion chopped finely and then I have taken four red chilies, which I have, uh, dry red chilies, which I have, uh, chopped into two here and then green chilies, curry leaves, cilantro to garnish. So here in the pan, the pan is hot, I have added coconut oil. It, because we are making coconut rice, coconut oil gives nice flavor to the rice. So I am adding coconut oil today, making with it. I am adding mustard seeds. Chana dal. Split chana dal. Split urad dal. Cumin seeds, few. For any variety rice, if you add more split chana dal and urad dal, it will taste good. You will see the nuts everywhere. To this, I am adding few roasted peanuts. If you have salted roasted peanuts from store, you can add that also. Or if you don't have roasted peanuts, if you have raw peanuts, you can add it uh, before you add chana dal and urad dal and roast it for some time and then add those other dals. So to this, I am going to add chilies and curry leaves, dry red chilies, green, green chilies, curry leaves. A piece of ginger, chopped, onions. You can add if you don't want peanuts, you can eliminate or if you want to add cashews also, go ahead and add. Uh, any nuts will taste good in this recipe. It just gives a little bit of crunch when you eat the rice. So I like to add some nuts in uh, any variety rice. So I'm adding a little bit of salt now. The onions cook for about a minute. So to the rice, I have added one spoon of uh, one small spoon of coconut oil, some cilantro, and the rice, uh, the salt. Remember, we have added salt in the onion also. So I am adding the rest of the salt in this. So here, onions uh, I have sauteed it. This is how I want it. I don't want to cut it to brown. You can you can cut it until it gets brown also. So all your present. Now I have added chopped cilantro also here. To this I'm going to add grated coconut. After you add coconut, you don't want to saute it for long time. Just saute for few minutes until you get, uh, for about a minute, until you get a uh, nice uh, coconut uh, smell. After that, you can start adding uh, the rice that we have here and mix it thoroughly and keep the heat in low so that it won't stick to the bottom. So if you saute the coconut too dry, then the rice will be very dry. So we, we still want some moisture in the coconut. 
so we don't want to saute it too until dry. You can also make this dish with uh, coconut, uh, uh, dry coconut that you get from the store also. Uh, but there is a difference when you make in dry coconut, it will, the rice will be a little dry. Um, so when you, uh, I would suggest that if you want to cook with the dry coconut that you get from the store, then cook the rice with adding the coconut milk. So the coconut milk that we get in can, add that along with uh, water when you cook the rice and then you add the dry coconut that way you get some moisture also and also some more coconut flavor also in that. But try once with fresh coconut, it's not hard at all. So when you when you choose a coconut, you just have to see like uh, if you shake it, you have to feel the water inside and the coconut has to have the weight that it has it's supposed to have for that size and then when you see the three eyes what we say in the coconut on top you will see the three eyes when you press it with your thumb uh, on the eyes it has to be hot and when you rotate the coconut you should not see any water leaking out from the shell so this is how you have to look a coconut and um, Please don't get the coconut that's kept in the AC. The coconut has to be stored in a dry place. Uh, so that's that's it. Then uh, if you shake it, you will uh, you will feel the water inside shaking. So that's how you choose a coconut. Sometimes if they store it for a long time in their storage, then it will not be good. Uh, but if you return them, they'll take it and they give you another coconut. So so now the coconut is ready. I'm going to add the rice to it and mix now I'm going to keep the flame in low and then I'm going to mix it right. that's it, once you mix it let it cool down. You can send this for lunch. You can pack this for kids lunch, cool lunch. If they like coconut. And for the same coconut, if you substitute grated carrot or if you substitute grated beetroot, then it is beetroot rice and carrot rice. You can make that too. And uh, I'm going to serve this with beetroot chutney. You can serve this with any a little tangy uh, chutney varieties or you can serve it with mixed vegetables. Or you can serve with any dry eggplant curry or something like that which is like little soggy and little juicy and kind of stuff. So, or if you don't have anything you can just serve with pickle and a cup of yogurt. So coconut rice is ready. Thank you.